Hello students, this is Professor Dr. Moina Akhtar Mughal. Um, I'm here today to walk you through your syllabus, your scheme. You've been provided an organic chemistry practical scheme, lab scheme. And um, if you start from the first page, there are a few indications which you are supposed to follow. That is the laboratory precautions. Then you will jump to the next section. That is, that is your, um, you can say, your knowledge about the glassware you are going to use and uh, how you are going to wash the glassware. Now, you know, as an organic chemist, you are going to use the glassware. I'll start from the glassware that you are going to use because I've discussed in my previous uh, lecture about the precautions which you are supposed to take. But now you come to the glassware you are using because now you are going to uh, move towards something to identify right you are going to identify the organic compounds through a series of steps so how you are going to uh, I mean uh, find out you need glassware so what are what is what do you mean by a glassware things that are made up of glass right so what that includes of course are your glass rods that are used for stirring your beakers, different sizes, your Elmer flasks of different size, your filtration flask, your condensers, and um, what else um, uh, you can say, number of other glass things, or you can say uh, beakers or um, uh, thermometers to record the temperature, and uh, you can say a lot of uh, vials, glass vials, ignition tubes, and uh, things like that. Okay, so these are all included in your glasswares so um, when you will start your experiment you have to wash your glassware properly washing is a very important part of your um, experimentation and when you, you when you wash a compound first is washing then it's rinsing first you wash the compound wash your sorry wash your um, uh, uh, um, glassware then you rinse your glassware and how you wash it of course with some detergent you are going to wash it and then you are going to um, uh, use uh, some uh, solvent which uh, you will probably be knowing before that you are going to use it in your solvents uh, in your experimental work also like the most polar ones first you are going to rinse Rinse it with a, of course, with some uh, polar solvent that is water. You'll start from water or um, alcohols, and then uh, you can uh, you can put them aside to uh, to uh, to be dried, or you will use the oven to dry them, and you will put them upside down so that it should be dried properly in the oven, and you will see at what temperature the oven is set. You will set down the temperature for drying. So this is the second part. Third part that is drying. First was washing, second was rinsing, and third was drying. Right. This is now your equipment is ready. To perform your experiment now if you walk through your um, this um, uh, your scheme you will see that there are few uh, safety precautions then there's a table of physical constants in which you if you are you of some organic solvents in which you will be knowing about the their solvent names then their boiling points then their dielectric constants then their densities their specific gravities dipole moments etc of discussed which common solvents which you will be using are uh, starting from alcohols ethyl alcohol methyl alcohol and then hexanes uh, it says you know and hexane is a straight chain compound and then the benzenes and chloroform these are the solvents which you are going to use so uh, mostly in your most of the experimental work then if you'll jump to the next page you are going to start uh, your um, uh, experimentation experimental work by moving towards uh, you can say your um, object that is your identification of known unknown organic compound so now when you uh, when you start with identifying that means something you are going to find out you are going to identify it so um, how you're going to identify what type of a compound you have been given you will be provided with an organic compound you will look at its state what state it is in whether it's in a solid state it's in liquid state what up then you will and see you will see the observe the color of the compound what type of a color it has it if it is whitish in color if it is um, colorless if it is grayish whatever you will record you will put it there you will put your recordings at one side and then you will jump to the next section that is um, uh, what is is odor does it smell it has a particular smell or something if it is benzene like if it is um, it has got some pungent smell that causes irritation in your nose it then what type of a compound it could be there are chloro compounds that you know produce some irritation and 